something must have really spooked the Trump campaign about RFK Jr. Trump put out a blistering four minute video attacking RFK Jr. about a variety of issues and called him a total fraud. Trump even said he'd prefer President Biden over RFK Jr. These attacks are surprising because up until now, Trump has shrugged off RFK Jr.'s independent campaign. And conservative commentators love to say that RFK Jr. is going to take away votes from Biden. But it looks like Trump is really the one in trouble, not Biden. Check out how terrified Trump is of RFK Jr. RFK Jr. is a Democrat plant, a radical left liberal who's been put in place in order to help crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the United States, get reelected. A lot of people think that Jr. is a conservative. He's not. He's more liberal than anybody running on the Democrat side. A vote for Jr. would essentially be a wasted protest vote that could swing either way, but would only swing against the Democrats if Republicans knew the true story about him. Up until this point, we've been hearing from conservative media nonstop that RFK Jr. is a threat to Joe Biden, not Donald Trump. And polls do show that six months from the election, some people think positively of RFK Jr., mostly because they know nothing about him but are fond of the last name. But anyone who has been watching the presidential race knows that RFK Jr. was promoted heavily by Fox News, Newsmax, etc. when he was still running as a Democrat trying to primary Joe Biden. Fox viewers were left with the impression that RFK Jr. was a good Democrat, kind of like Tulsi Gabbard. But when RFK Jr. failed to primary Joe Biden, he decided to run as an independent. And since only right-wing news orgs promoted him previously, and every time he went on a left-wing channel like CNN, he had a combative interview, it was always going to be the case that conservatives liked him. Now, Fox News and Newsmax have to deal with the monster they created. And obviously, Trump is seeing some polling that is freaking him out. Junior is totally anti-gun, an extreme environmentalist who makes the green news scammers look very conservative by comparison. A big time taxer, he wants to tax you. An open border advocate, he wants those borders to be wide open for more people to come in from prisons and mental institutions. And he's anti-military and he's anti-vet. He's an extreme liberal. He's radical left and radicalized also are his family. They'll never allow him to be a Republican. They've said that we will not let him be a Republican. Boy, RFK Jr. is anti a lot of things, according to Trump. Looks like RFK Jr. is now getting the radical Democrat treatment where you're against everything and also includes Trump peddling the falsehood that migrants at our southern border are coming from prisons and mental institutions. And his chief funder is the VP candidate that nobody ever heard of except her ex-husband who's been stripped of a big chunk of his cash. And he knows exactly what she's all about. She's even more liberal than RFK Jr. She puts herself down as a businesswoman or maybe a doctor. And actually, she probably is because she did a hell of a big number on the husband. That's her business. I guess you could say that she's right, however, because what she's done is given a lot of money to the Democrat causes and the ultra liberal causes. She's going to be a big hindrance because when people saw that she was selected, they realized that Junior was indeed a radical left. She's more liberal than Junior by far, not a serious person, and only a pot of cash to help her get her no chance candidate on the ballot is what got her there in the first place. That is a blistering attack against RFK Junior's running mate, Nicole Shanahan. And while Trump is no fan of women, he really laid into her. He's right about one thing though, she appears to have been selected as RFK Jr.'s running mate because of her money. RFK Jr.'s desperate to get on the ballot in all 50 states, and that's going to cost a lot of money. His fundraising wasn't bringing in much, but Nicole Shanahan had already helped pay for a Super Bowl ad for him that cost millions of dollars. No one had ever heard of her before he selected her. She was only known for being the ex-wife of one of Google's founders and having a fling with Elon Musk. But her views are just as terrible as RFK Jr.'s, so they're a perfect match. I lived with RFK Jr. in New York and watched him convince Governor Cuomo to make environmental moves that were outright nasty and really bad for the state. We have the highest energy costs anywhere in the country, and that's because of 
RFK Jr. He was a disaster. Upstate New York was not allowed to drill or frack as Ohio, Pennsylvania, and others ripped off New York energy. Because of this, prices have skyrocketed all over that part of the country. And frankly, it's affected New England. It's affected everybody. But all of this was the policy of RFK Jr. He doesn't want any drilling whatsoever. He doesn't want anything. He wants everything to come to a halt, and you'd find that out. Trump attacks RFK Jr. so harshly on drilling because that is one of Trump's ridiculous solutions to all of America's problems. Trump claims that if he becomes president, he'll increase oil production, and that will lower prices and pay off our national debt. The only problem with this idea is that we are setting records for oil production right now under Joe Biden, easily more than Trump's administration. There isn't much more we could be doing with drilling because oil companies aren't going to invest when they know green energy is the future. Their energy costs are the highest in the United States, in New York State and New England, because of this guy, with the exception of California and Gavin Newsom, who's the worst governor in the state's history and one of the worst governors in the history of our country. I'd even take Biden over Jr. because our country would last about a year or two longer than it would with Jr. It would collapse almost immediately. And his family, a radical left, a crazy left, a bunch of lunatics, would take over and our country will die very quickly. Never in a million years did I think I would hear Donald Trump say he prefers Joe Biden as president over anyone else. If you listen to Trump and right-wing media, they'll tell you that Joe Biden is the worst president we've ever had and he will lead to the destruction of America. All total nonsense, of course, but wow, if that video isn't a sign of Trump being terrified he's losing votes to RFK Jr., I don't know what is.